What's up, people? Thanks for tuning into Greg's Garage. I'm Greg. And the one thing we love to do on the show is to help those new to the sport or those that have been around a while and might be confused about some of the things that their fellow motorcycle rider says. And for that, we bring you Motorcycle Slang. So I'm flipping around Cycle World's total motorcycle manual, right? And I get to number 151, which is pop a wheelie. Now, I just had a conversation with someone on an airplane about this. They were asking me, well, you're a motorcycle guy, what's a wheelie? My kids are always talking about wheelies. Well, I had to explain it to them, and that's what I'm gonna do for you right now. A wheelie simple, right? It's lofting the front wheel in the air, so only your rear wheel is in contact with the ground. Pop a wheelie is one way to say it. Carry a wheelie is something that you might hear. It's riding that rear wheel in the air for a while. And there's other terms that are gonna be associated with wheelie, like the different types. Not just like, oops, I popped a wheelie. You have power wheelie and the clutch wheelie. Clutch wheelie is kind of an advanced thing. You're moving, you sit back, you pull the clutch in barely to the point where it starts to slip, you rev the engine, let the clutch out, and the front wheel comes up. And then there's the easier power wheelie. Simply open the throttle quickly until the front wheel comes up. Hard to do on like a Ninja 300, but the bigger bikes, it's pretty easy. Now, how do you learn how to ride a wheelie? That's a much bigger question. Well, here's a little bit on a wheelie simulator that might help out. Well, I've been running this business for about eight years. It's a wheelie simulator where you get to ride a wheelie right there on the spot like a big video game. And, you know, it's fun. It's not like riding on the street, but it's fun for people who won't want to try it. It's just like a power wheelie. It's not like riding on the street, but the concept really the same. Except you're not moving. So what you do is you rev it up, you back off, and you crack. And when you crack, you come up. And then I give you instructions from there whether you're too high, too low, or you need to give it gas. And plus the rope helps you because if it goes all the way over, it stops you from going over. But then you get to do tricks. You can do high chairs, which means that your butt is on the tank and your feet is over the hood. Or you can sit on the tank and, as a spreader and use and your legs out to the side. But also you can sit on the tank, stand on the tank, sit on the seat, stand on the seat, kick your leg out, one hand. It really depends on what you feel like comfortable with. And then some people are so scared they're shaking to death. So it depends on what you, know, you like doing. The technical part of it is, is that you know you got the rope that holds you to so stop you from going over. You have the pension mechanism that holds the wheel in place over the drum, and then you had the drum which spins just like a dyno, because that's basically what that was, was a dyno machine, the guy who um, built these. I have gotten some feedback from people to say, well, I knew I could wheelie, but then I just felt comfortable at least doing it there so I won't fall and find out the balance point. Most people are scared of the balance point because once it comes up, they get nervous and panicky. But then I've had some people say, well, I'm not gonna wheelie on the street at all because that balance point is way too high for me. You know, it can give you the feeling of the balance point, but it's not the same as you were riding on the road because you have, you know, you don't have any other hazards besides being up or down because if something could pull out in front of you or you get a bump, a dip, or even the road grade changes. Well, you can find me at iwheelie.com. That's I-W-H-E-E-L-I-E.com. Uh, located in Napa, Smyrna, and then everything's on the website. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter page. So if you want to try a wheelie, get to an event with iWheelie or other folks who travel around the world doing this wheelie thing. You can try it on a dirt bike with all the appropriate gear, of course, but be responsible with your wheelies. Well, that'll do it for this time. Now, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, then please hit subscribe. We post exclusive stuff on there from time to time. You wanna follow me on Facebook? Well, you can follow Greg's Garage at facebook.com slash Greg's Garage TV. On Instagram, it's Greg's Garage. And you can follow me personally on Twitter. It's at Greg White. That's all the time we have for this one. Thanks so much for checking us out. We'll see you next time right here on Greg's Garage.